why we chose it. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could ask you all please to stand for the entrance of the bride. She's early! <laughs> Please take your seats. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome this afternoon to the Earl of Doncaster on this very happy occasion. A brief introduction before we begin. We're from the Doncaster Registry Office. My name is Femia Jones and this is my colleague Claire Woods and we'll be conducting your ceremony for you today. We're here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Paul Marsden and Wendy Nock. On behalf of Paul and Wendy, I'd like to thank you all for coming here today. I'm sure it does mean a great deal to both of them to have their family and friends assembled here with them on this very happy occasion. Today, Paul and Wendy will exchange vows which will unite them as husband and wife. Through these vows, they're making a commitment to each other for the rest of their lives. It's tradition for the father of the bride to hand over his daughter to the bridegroom. So, Brian, are you happy to hand your daughter's hand in marriage to Paul? Yes. Thank you. If you'd like to take your seat. In marriage, two people become as one and yet remain as individuals, bringing to the partnership a richness and diversity that one alone cannot achieve. Paul and Wendy, the marriage that you contract here today will enable you to share and follow your dreams together, side by side, to celebrate each other's strengths and support each other's weaknesses. A good partner in a good marriage will show tolerance, consideration, be loving, caring and kind, but above all else, be your best friend. For Paul and Wendy, today's ceremony is a public declaration of the love that they have for one another. Each will promise to care for and support the other through all the changes, challenges, joys and sorrows that life may send them. If any person present knows of a lawful reason why they should not be married today, please declare it now. Before you joined in matrimony, it's my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you're about to make to each other. Marriage, according to the laws of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. So Paul Marsden and Wendy Nock, do you fully understand the nature of the commitment that you'll make to each other today? Yes. I would now ask each of you in turn to declare that you're not aware of any lawful reason why you may not be married. So if you could first repeat, Paul. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. 
of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Paul Marsden why I Paul Marsden may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to Wendy Knock to Wendy Knock okay. I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Wendy Knock why I Wendy Knock May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Paul Marston. To Paul Marston. Thank you. So we've now reached the most important part of the ceremony, where the bride and groom will say to each other the words that form the contract of the marriage. So I now ask you all please to stand. Do you, Paul Marston, take Wendy Knock to be your lawful wedded wife? and promise to support and care for her throughout your future life together? No. <laughs> Not only do I say for my wife. <laughs> but I also say for my lover. My soulmate. My part for, partner for life, and also my best friend. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, okay, don't be silly. <laughs> well done, dear. Do you, Wendy Knock, take Paul Marsden to be your lawful wedded husband and promise to support and care for him throughout your future life together? I do. So we've now come to the exchanging of rings, which is the traditional way of sealing your vows. A wedding ring is a continuous circle, symbolising never-ending love, and is the outward sign of the promise that you've just made to one another. So Terry, if you could step forward with the rings, please. You have got them. <laughs> oh, you're joking. I ain't, I ain't got him. Oh, God. <laughs> no! Oh. Come on! Bell! Oh. Come on! Bell! Bell! Come on! There you go. Come on! Come on! I call upon these persons here present, these persons here present to, witness that I, Paul Marsden, to witness that I, Paul Marsden, do take thee, do take thee to, be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. And I give you this ring, and I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. And a lasting reminder. And a lasting reminder of the vows made between us today. Of the, of the, of the vows made between us today. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present to witness that I, Wendy Knock, to witness that I, Wendy Knock, do take thee, Paul Marsden, do take thee, Paul Marsden, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. And a lasting reminder. And a lasting reminder of the vows made between us today. Of the vows made between us today. Thank you. <laughs> Just. <laughs> so Paul and Wendy, you've now made the declarations which are required by law. 
you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other, symbolised by the giving and receiving of rings. This has been witnessed by your family and friends assembled here with you today. The feelings that you have are precious. Keep them safe and reflect upon them from time to time. You've now joined your lives in law and in love, and we sincerely hope that you will have a very long and happy life together. So it now gives me the greatest pleasure to pronounce that you are lawfully joined together as husband and wife. Congratulations to you both.